Hello it's Twist Failure here and welcome to Tips 10 Stage 9 and I just want to start off by saying what a disgusting stage. I don't believe that Sky is clean one bit. I mean if they're clean, everyone else just sucks without dope just saying. So good job to Froome if you're not doped. If you are doped, get the hell out of my Twitter fronts. Okay, and Richie Port for that sake because you've been pacing for 10 kilometers and then you just move away from all the other guys who hasn't been pacing at all. Well, that's enough of my rant. If you don't like me talking about doping, just don't listen to that part, it's my opinion. But yep, the updating standings will be in the comment section once again. And I think a lot of people got this one right actually, because this one was predictable for some reason. But on to the questions. Will the winner be in a breakaway or in the peloton? This one you have to answer me. Breakaway or peloton? Will the winner be found in a breakaway or in the peloton? Who will win the stage? And who do you think is going to win that stage? Tomorrow's a really hilly stage. You gotta say, who do you think is going to win that? Mention one rider in the breakaway. You gotta say to me one rider that'll be in the breakaway. So like Thomas Vaclera, Jeremy Roy, guys like that. Mention two riders that will earn mountain points. So you gotta tell me two riders that will earn at least one mountain point on that stage. Mention three riders in top 10 on the stage. So you gotta tell me three riders that are gonna get in top 10 on that stage. So like Thomas Vaclera, Jeremy Roy, Perique Fedrigo, guys like that. Mention four riders that will lose time on the stage. So you gotta give me four riders that will lose time on the stage. This one should be really easy if you just think of it a little. Mention five riders that will earn points in the intermediate sprint. This one you gotta give me five riders that will earn a point in the intermediate sprint. So like Cavendish, Kittle, Dagen Cup, so on. Best place in the stage, Vauclair or Pinot. Which one of those two Frenchmen do you think is going to be best placed in the stage? It's up to you. Best placed in the stage, Quintana or Valverde. Both guys are probably the favorites of the same team. Today's stage, if Quintana didn't attack, I believe he would have been stronger than Valverde, but it's up to you. Best placed in the stage, Froome or Port. These two guys are going to be first and second this year's Twitter France, and they're going to be first and second by like 20 minutes, so... Who do you think is going to be best placed in the stage? And now, turning rant back on, so you can just quit right now if you don't want to hear me rant. But this is just unbelievable. Sky is going to dominate the next two weeks of the Tour de France. And it's just like, how is this even possible? This is like the biggest time gap I've ever seen. Like, how can Contador think this is not dope? Because Contador knows what it's like being doped. And he just can't follow the pace anymore. I'm like, what the heck? Randolph. <laughs> so thank you guys for competing. Some of you guys are doing really good and some of you need some help. So, yep. Good luck getting that PCN 13. Second place might get something, depending on how many more competitors I get. Talk to you guys later.